What's up guys? Anyways, what's up guys? My name is Asian Psycho and this will be an overview video for these two weapons that I have um, uh, featured in my series called the Road to Mastery series. The M24 and the SR25. We reload them first. And uh, in this game I have I Hit Boom with me. He's just filling in for just this game right here. And basically you won't be seeing any gameplay. If that's what you guys were hoping for here, then I'm sorry. That's not what this video is for. It's just basically us running around and acting like deuce bags. If we choose to do so. Anyways, oh hold on. Let me ask I Hit Boom. I Hit Boom, uh, do you want me to turn on VVOX so you can hear what I'm saying? Yes, please. Alright. Okay, so let me re-say that one more time for I hit boom. I hit boom to uh, here. Basically, this video will be an overview video of the two guns that I have featured on my channel for the Road to Mastery series: the M24 and the SR25. And reload these guns again. Oh, he's got the SR25 too. What do you know? So, all right, let's start with the M24, the first gun that I have um, featured on my channel. So first of all, just a few quick facts about the M24. The M24 is the first sniper you unlock. There is no rank requirement, and it is the only bolt-action sniper rifle in the game currently to not be a one-shot kill and still be a bolt-action sniper rifle. Uh, there is an exception to this because um, if you come up to someone and you shoot them from behind, uh, I'm not gonna try it on the higher proof obviously because I'm gonna he's gonna think I'm a dick. But then um, if you do hit someone from behind. Uh, who has a medium or light vest? I'm not too sure about tanker or heavy vest, but then um, it will be a one-shot kill. And yeah, just a neat little thing that I want you guys to know. What? Uh, yeah, you said it's the other one hit. Blue action sniper rifle. What about the SPR? Isn't that a? Oh yeah, that's right. Dang it, the SPR. Yes, the SPR is indeed not a one-shot kill either. It has a total damage of 95, whereas the M24 has only a 90. Um, so that would mean that the SPR does behave like the M24 in that sense. Um, though the M24A3 variants, <coughs> they can, uh, they have a slight chance of dealing a one-shot kill to light vesters only from the front. So in that regard, the M24A3 is a highly superior gun over the M24, the regular one. But in exchange for that, the M24 family is the only sniper family to have a consistent performance when it has a 100 accuracy stat. And um, it is one of the few sniper rifles to have a 100, a perfect accuracy uh, rating uh, as given by Combat Arms. And um, yes, it, in my opinion, it is the only sniper rifle family to consistently perform at the accuracy at it, as it says. So for this gun, if you shoot and you miss, it's not your fault. Or, um, it's not the gun's fault, so stop blaming the gun. It's your fault. Make sure you keep notice of that. So, my recommendation for the M24 is that because it's a one shot kill to light vesters and medium vesters from behind, I suggest you try to sneak around the maps if you can uh, and um, try shooting them from behind. And, um,. If you hit them in the back, it should be a one-shot kill. If it's if they don't, either you got unlucky or they're just wearing a tanker or a heavy vest or whatever. So those are the quick facts about the M24. And what I think about the M24 is complete crap. If you want to rage and or if you want to figure out a one best way to make yourself rage, either buy this gun or the SPR, and you will have all the rage bonus you want. Yes, that is correct. You heard me. This M24 is not worth shit in quick scoping normally. Thus, I will never consider this my pri main primary sni uh, quick scoping gun. Get out of here, IP Boom. Sorry, I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. Anyways, after I acted like a complete douchebag right there. Yes, I will repeat the M24. You should never be able to use this unless you are like one of those extremely good people who can hit headshots every single time. And uh, most of you guys, hey, what do you do that for? Most of you guys uh, probably aren't those kinds of people. Case closed. That is what I think of the M24. Hope you guys like my rating. If you guys don't, then I don't know why you're continuing to watch this video. On, on to the next one. The SR25. 
So my uh, few quick uh, facts about the SR25. This is the next sniper rifle you can unlock after the M24. I believe it's unlocked that private. I think the rank of private. And um, this uh, this sniper rifle has is the first GP sniper rifle to have an integrated silencer. That is why you cannot attach a silencer on it. If you hear its firing sound, it obviously sounds like it has a silencer attached to it. It's not very loud, is it now? And um, it is a quick real life fact, the SR25 is um, a variant of the M16 family, that's why it reloads like an M16 in this game, and it kind of looks like an M16. And um, just a quick real life fun fact for you guys. And um, let's see here. Since it's a semi-automatic, it does have a considerable idle sway. If you kind of pay attention to that, it's a lot more than L9 at least. Get out of here, I hear it, boom. And, um, let's see. And it's no scoping capabilities, it is complete crap, too. Yes, as with most semi automatic sniper rifles, they are complete crap. Yes. So, uh, let's see. My thoughts on it this is as bad as the M24. Don't buy it unless you want to troll people. If you want to troll people, then yes, this gun is very good for trolling people, going around and sniper-only games and pissing off the hardcore guys who will, will then rage at you for uh, for using a semi-automatic sniper rifle. Yes, case closed. And um, don't use this gun. That's it. Unless you want to sit back and camp, then yeah, you're gonna have to deal with sometimes two, sometimes three shot kills because this semi-automatic sniper rifle doesn't really do that much damage, and sometimes you're gonna have to deal with um, lots of three shot kills, which can become quite annoying after some time. So yeah, that is what I think of the SR25. Uh, even with these customization, I forgot to mention my previous uh, video, the final video for on Hollow Ravine for this SR25. That even with all customizations, um, increased power, increased portability, increased rate of fire, it doesn't do jack shit. The only good thing about what I did for that video was that I added a extent or a, a fast loader mag, which basically decreased its ammo count from ten to eight, and um, it, re it really changed this reload speed. Uh, it actually um, made the reload speed a lot faster and a lot better in my opinion. And um, that's a good thing. So if you want to use SR25, uh, use an extended mag or nice. What am I saying? Um, a fast loader mag. Or as, pro as, uh, as a protagonist just stated, never use it. There are better alternatives. There are better alternatives apparently he says. No, no, don't troll me now. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys... No, shut up, protagonist. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is what I think of the M24 and the SR25. Currently, I cannot spam bullets right now because I'm out of ammo. And, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. My next series will be on the MSG90 or whatever. I will, damn it. And, um... And hope you guys enjoyed this overview video. I'll let you borrow my account. Come here, I hit boom. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let me know what's good for you. Let me I'm out of ammo. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, my friends. And um, yeah, have a nice day. That is what I think of the M24 and the SR25. They're complete shit. Yeah, have a good day, guys. Peace. God damn it, I hit boom. Why? <laughs>